when someone with knowledge of food safety comes, especially sometimes when they come from outside Africa, and the first thing they say is, close it down. That's the solution. It was altered in the morning, very early. We wake up very early because some customers want it early in the morning. A casual glance can see it's going to be more risky than meat you would buy in a supermarket. So who's buying that meat? It's the poor people. It is not very many people who sells the pork. They enjoy coming here, taking pork and the sweetness. <laughs> I'm Delia Grace. I'm a veterinary epidemiologist at Ilri. Diarrhea is the most common disease in the world. It kills nearly two million children a year. At least half diarrhea is associated with contaminated food and water. Of all the foods, the most risky are the animal source products. Some boil, some roast in the oven, uh, others deep frying. I have the worst prices from 25 bob because of those customers who do not have money. And there are many of them, a lot of them. What people don't realize is that about 2 to 3% of food poisoning cases, which is an awful lot, can lead to kidney failure in children, septicemia, paralysis, abortion in women. Food safety isn't just a trivial minor issue. Oh, it can kill you. Every day, every day, cabbages. Every day, every day, cabbages. So today, I told these kids, today, I'll bring you pork. If I don't, I'll have failed. <laughs> While for some people it might make very good sense to be vegetarian, but for the people at the bottom, the four billion at the bottom, they need more, not less, animal source food. Right now it is very expensive. Eat meat maybe twice a month. You can't afford to eat every week, every week. Poorest four billion are not getting enough of the micronutrients, the proteins to stay healthy and to be able to complete their education and all these, these strong relationships which we found between good nutrition and good life outcomes. If there is more pigs, we can just reduce the prices because the prices from the farmers, that is where the problem is coming from. So most farmers, when they are taught how to look after them, their pigs will take shorter time to grow. One thing we found, even among the poorest communities, people really care about meat safety and the quality of what they, they eat. So it's a challenge. We would like to improve the conditions so it's safer, but we certainly want to build on these pathways which are proving very successful at getting food to poor people and also helping livelihoods of, of the butcher, the pig producer, everyone else involved. <laughs>